Hello YouTube, in this video I'm gonna talk to you about constant effort, the yo-yo effect of success and the burnout factor. These are like fancy concepts that I invented because everybody knows about effort, you know, but nobody knows about constant effort. And everybody knows about the yo-yo effect and everybody knows about success, but when you combine those two, nobody knows about it. And how about burnout factor? Nobody knows about burnout factor, everybody knows about burnout. How you feel when you are like all like used up, you have no more energy left. So, let's start. You know, if you have ever tried to lose weight, and I have, I have lost weight, you know, like 20 kilograms. If you are an American, you know nothing about these kilograms. They're like Latin to you, but, but you know, I have lost over 20 kilograms. I used to be a, pre, a pretty fat guy, you know. Now I'm, now I'm like fit, you know. But, you know, with weight loss, there's this thing called the yo-yo effect, which means that you like lo lose some weight, then you regain it, and may maybe you regain even more. Then you lose that, and maybe you regain it again. And that happens when you go on a diet, when you diet, and when you like don't have constant habits. That's the secret, constant habits. And it's the secret behind every every kind of like uh, like success. You know, constant effort. What does it mean? Constant effort means that you apply same kind of force, time, and effort each day or each week or each month. To something. So for example, if you want to uh, like uh, lose weight, you apply constant effort by going to the gym for one hour uh, each day or each two days or each three days. But you do it in a constant like way. You save in a constant like you save money with constant effort by saving, for example, 10 euros, 100 euros a month or 10 euros a day, or maybe 20 euros each two days. You know, you make something a habit, or you make a, a saving a constant effort by saving something every day. Something every day. That's constant effort. And it's it's the it's the like the antidote to the yo-yo effect because yo-yo effect it it basically means that you don't have constant effort you are like you are like flaky and it's it's like it's normal nowadays to be pretty flaky you know but for example when I make these videos I try to achieve constancy I try to make videos each week and I try to like in the quality department. I try to make videos that have a message, that have something to be gained each week. I also make videos that are kind of like just funny, you know, just funny. And I practice all kinds of things. But I have a habit of making videos. It's a constant effort. But there's more to it. It's about how you do that thing. There's, there's much depth to it in that department also. It applies to everything. Now ask yourself about your own life. What are the areas of your life where you are applying constant effort? And what are the areas of your life where you're not applying constant effort? What areas of your life are like once in a year type of things? What areas of your life are everyday type of things? Ask yourself. Uh, if it's related to physical fitness, do you do it every day, each week, each month? If you do like exercise each month, it, it's not gonna have an, have an effect on you. But each day, huge gains. Each week, it, even each week, like some kind of eff like some kind of effect. But you know, if you want to learn a skill, constant effort comes from a certain amount of time each week, each day. It's gonna cre create an outcome, and the way you do it, it's gonna create a certain effect on the outcome. That's easy. It's not easy to accomplish, but it's easy to understand on paper at least. Or on the white wall over here. And then there's the burnout factor. So what does burnout fact what does the burnout factor really mean? The burnout factor is like how the how time and energy is related to your constant effort. You could do 
really constant effort at something for two months. Like for example, I did two months of writing almost five to seven hours a day, five or four days a week for two months. And then the winter came and where I wrote I have to like walk a certain like I have to walk a certain like distance and it's all, something like 10 kilometers a day and I wrote like five to seven hours in the place and it's I get the exercise it takes like two hours or two and a half hours in a day and I write that amount of time but then when the weather changed it started to snow and all that the habit kind of changed also and I started to like notice uh, like not so many gains with my writing because the weather got really shitty and I started to like I, I lost some days and I noticed, noticed it in my writing I don't usually nowadays write at home because of like ergo ergonomic problems I need a proper table and a chair and, and that kind of thing those cost money so I have a problem to apply this constant effort. I would do it other ways. So what are your limitations and how they, how do they affect the constant effort you are trying to apply and what are the strategies you could use to uh, like move around this problem. And you have to understand the burnout factor. It's really important because um, if you apply constant effort and you're feeling for two months that yeah this, this is really just the right amount of work that I'm doing, right amount of effort, it might take two months to burn out, you know, the human being can take a lot, but, but when you do, you're gonna plummet and your quality of what you're doing is gonna plummet and it's bad. So how do you deal with this? Will you tone down? Will you just practice like three hours a day? Like, will you tone it down? Well, you're gonna see the effect on your like. If, you're just gonna see the effect on your what you're outputting. So what I do, I suggest, for example, in creative things, is that you are you hammer it so much that you burn out. I suggest that you go overboard with it because you make better like these separate days or separate like segments of writing or or like any kind of art by applying a huge amount of effort and then taking a rest because you get into it and you go deeper than if you write just one hour a day. You can write one hour a day every day and it's gonna create an effect, that's for sure. But if you go really deep into it, you might discover something that is not possible to discover in any other way. And the funny thing about human beings is that you, you can burn out really bad on something, but it's not general. You might have energy to do something else. For example, I might burn out with writing, but I still have the like guts and the energy to do my videos. So think about it in these terms. That's the constant effort, the yo-yo effect of success and the burnout factor. It's all related to each other and maybe you could even mathematize this. Who knows? But thanks for watching.